Hi guys, uh, so welcome to the fifth video of this Java multi-threading playlist. I hope this all four videos were helpful for you. So this fifth video is all about a Java executor service. Uh, so it basically provides a way to manage and execute tasks asynchronously in a pool of threads. And it takes away all the headache of thread management, right? Which makes our life as developers much easier. So at high level, we have like three types of thread executor which we can create. And after this, we will see the code, code example also. Uh, so first one is single thread executor. So it's like whenever we want to do some tasks sequentially, right? So we only need one thread in the thread pool. So for that use cases, single thread executor is the best to use because in this executor, you want the task. So you want the task to be executed in some specific order, right? So in that case, this helps. And next is fixed thread pool. So in fixed thread pool, you can give like how many threads you want, like five threads or 10 threads or 15, right? And oh. once the task is submitted, so it will be executed by one of the available threads. And if the task is submitted and all the threads are busy, right? Then the task is queued until the threads become available. We will check this scenario in the code also. And then we have a cached thread pool. So in this, we don't give the number of threads to the method we directly ask the method you can control the thread pool uh, and you can adjust the number of threads based on the workload so if you want to create new threads you can create and if any thread is sitting idle you can also terminate that thread from the pool and actually there is one more thread pool uh, maybe i forgot to mention here uh, that is a scheduled uh, thread pool okay uh, so basically sometimes you need to execute the task based on some time interval, right? So in that case, you can use a scheduled a thread pool uh, in your code. So let's see first all these four thread executors. Let's see all these four methods in the code and then we will see the other uh, concepts of this service. So in the code, I have already written four methods here. So first is single thread executor. So in this, you will see we are not giving any other detail here like number of threads because it's only one thread and we want like all the tasks should be not performed in parallel because there is only one thread right so what will happen here is first task will be executed then second task will be executed then third task will be executed so on right so it's like one task at a time in a sequential way and we are using your shutdown method once it is done with all the tasks i'm just using shutdown method to shut down this executor so it will not shut down immediately but it will let these five tasks right to be completed but after uh, they are completed it will not accept any new task basically right so that's why we use this shutdown method and there are there is also shutdown now method also so that we will see later in this video but this is the very basic implementation so we are using single thread executor method and then we are just uh, using dot execute method and we are just passing the we are using the lambda expression here to submit the task by using uh, a runnable okay so we will also see like difference between runnable and callable after this but it's a simple way like if you have seen the previous videos of this playlist you know like uh, how this thing work right if you don't understand this code i will highly recommend you you go through the starting of this playlist so that you are aware of this concept like lambda expression how to submit a task to the thread right so okay so now second method is fixed thread pool so here if you see i am giving the number as three so that means your three threads are available and whenever the task is getting submitted right in this case let's say five tasks are getting submitted so what will happen the first three tasks will go immediately to three threads and the other two tasks have to wait until any of the thread is available and then that task will be assigned to the free thread so this is how it works and here also i am giving the shutdown method and the third one is the cached thread pool right so here if you see i'm not giving any size of the thread right like three or five so that means this will be controlled internally if i go to the implementation of this method right uh, so it is inside using thread pool executor we will also see that uh, like how it is different from the executor service so basically the main difference is it will keep create the threads as needed and it will terminate terminate the thread if it's not needed but in the fixed thread pool right uh, like these three threads will never be terminated even if it is sitting idle so basically whenever any task will come it will assign to any one of them 
and the fourth one is a scheduled thread pool so basically here we use this uh, thread pool when whenever we want to have some delay or whenever we want to schedule task to execute after some time right so in that case this can be really helpful so if i go to the implementation of this one so you will see here we have uh, they are using like delayed work queue here and inside delayed work queue they are still using blocking queue but the point is uh, we are also passing the delay and we are also passing the time unit so high level these four methods again it's very simple and basic implementation just to show you like how these four methods are different from each other so if i will run this one so okay so now it's getting in, now you will able to understand it more so first let's see single thread task right so if i will search here single thread task you will see here all the single thread tasks are being executed by pool 1 thread 1 right pool 1 thread 1 pool 1 thread 1 so which proves it like there is only one thread right uh, so all the threads all the tasks are being executed by the same thread in a sequential order so what happened here is thread 1 finished the single thread task 1 and then it proceed to task 2 then it proceed to task 3 task 4 task 5 so if you see the sequence is being maintained in the single thread task and it is not happening in parallel and there is only one thread here so if i go to the fixed thread now right so if i will search here fixed thread task so you will see here so in fixed thread task the sequence will not be maintained so it depends like internally which uh, task to be executed but one thing we know is it's it should only have three threads so if you see task one task two and task three are immediately picked up by thread one thread two and thread three right but fourth and fifth were waiting in the queue right and then once any of these threads got free so task five was picked up by thread two and task four was picked up by thread one so that means thread two got freed earlier so it picked up task five and then it picked up task four uh, uh thread one thread one picked up task four so this proves like if like first three tasks were immediately picked up by the different threads because thread pool size is three right and fourth and fifth waited for some time and then it picked up either by thread one or thread two or thread three so that's how it works internally and if i go to cache thread pool right so we have not given anything here right the size so ideally it should be picked up all ideally all tasks should be picked up if you see here it's picked up by different threads thread one thread two thread three thread four and then thread five so that means they immediately picked up all the five tasks run in parallel and close the threads so this is difference between cached thread pool and fixed thread pool so and then scheduled thread pool right so if i go here so if you see here uh, so thread one and the pool size is two right so that means only two thread are there so first tasks were picked up by thread one thread two and then there was delay then thread one thread two then again delay right so that's how it works so hope this is clear now so this is just very basic implementation so the idea is to give you the basic information so that you can use any one of them in your application use case if i will show you here right like how it looks internally so let's say what we did was we did pass like a lot of tasks right so we had like up to five tasks right so if i take this example so where we used a fixed thread pool uh, so it have three threads but we are passing the five tasks to that right so how it looks like so let's say these are our tasks right and let's say this is our executor service and in our executor service we have thread pool here and inside this thread pool our size is three right so it have one thread two thread three thread just for just to explain right and inside this i will if i will go they are using the blocking queue here right so it will have blocking queue here so what will happen is the task will flow here so if i will say here blocking queue and this is thread pool how it will look basically task five tasks three threads right so what will happen uh, executor service no i have three threads available right in the starting so immediately this three task will be picked up by any of 
uh, these threads, right? So this task can be picked up by this, this can be picked up by this. So there is no particular order, it will be decided internally. But these two tasks will go directly to the blocking queue because we are still waiting for the uh, these tasks to finish this execution. So let's say this execution is completed, this is completed. So now from blocking queue, then they will pick up the task like that. So this is how it works here. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more programming content.